welcome back to another video so today I've decided to have a go at builder in a bottle I'm gonna be doing a full set from scratch so what I've done is I've put some fake nail beds in false nails and a, and I've glued some tips on these nail beds are from glitter planet and they're specially made for these flexi fingers um, I'll put them in backwards I slot them right in and it's just to create um, like a false natural nail kind of thing. So I, I push it right in like that. And then I'll glue my nail tip onto the end of it. Just like you would do with a set that you're doing on your own nails. So these are the nail tips. They've got no well. They are stiletto. I am going to be chopping them down um, into coffin. But they're really, really nice tips. I got these from Amazon. If I can find the link, I will leave it in my description box. Um, because they are really really nice tips I've already glued them other three on as you can see so I'm just gluing this last one on just to show you how I do it so I'll just stick it onto the end like that and hold it for a couple of seconds and then you'll see I hold it in at the edges as well the sides just to make sure the sides are stuck down as well um, I've never built a set of nails from scratch like this on tips I've never used builder in a bottle um, but I was quite proud of myself for how these turned out actually in the end they didn't turn out too bad at all it was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be hell of a lot easier right I've snipped them down um, and I'm just going to go down the sides and turn them into a bit more of a coffin because they're a bit of a funny shape there um, yeah I'm just going to straighten up them edges and they were still a little bit too long so I end up snipping a little bit more off um, I'll just show you how I, how I do this one now and I'll do the others off camera just turn it into a bit of a coffin and snipped a little bit more of the length off Right, what I'm doing now is I'm just going to use a file and just where I've glued that tip on, I'm just going to file over it and blend it in with that natural nail. And at the same time, I'm going to buff and file off all the shiny surface of that nail tip. Right, these are the builder, de uh, builder in a Bottles from Rosalind. I've never used them. I'm going to kind of do a bit of a bit of a fade using the pink and the white. Um like a bit of a french fade or, or or is it a baby boomer i don't know um you would have to put prep and prime on your nails dehydrate them on your natural nails and put a primer on or a bond what i'm doing first is i'm putting a slip layer down with this clear and i'm just rubbing it into just rubbing it right into all them little scratches and grooves just so that it will really cling and stick and then I'll cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds. Right, I'm doing the white first and this first layer, I'm just gonna do a thin layer. So I'm gonna do the white on the bottom half of the nail and then I'm just gonna kind of feather it off and fade it off up the nail. And I'm gonna do exactly the same with the pink. I'm gonna cure this white in the lamp first. I'm gonna just cure this just for 30 seconds for now. And then I'll go in with the pink layer as well. Right, same again, I'm going to go in with a little bead of pink and it's hard for me to explain because I've never done it before but I just kept moving it about with my brush, not digging my brush in it. I did watch quite a few videos and you've just got to float it around the nail with the end of your brush. A big dollop fell off the stem of my brush there <laughs> but I'd never used them so I didn't know how they were going to behave. But anyway, yeah, I'm just like using circular motions and just floating it around the nail and I've just blended it down a little bit and again I'll cure that for 30 seconds now this is my second layer I'm just going to do exactly what I did the first time round but with the pink I'm going to put a bigger bead on and just try and build a bit of an apex out of the pink you could build an apex at the end using the clear but um, I wanted to do it using the colours so Again, I'll cure that white for 30 seconds and then I'm going to go in with that bigger bead of pink and just try and build a bit of an apex. Um, it does look a bit wibbly wobbly once it's cured, but you'll see at the end I can file it and 
get it the shape I need it to be. I've just turned it upside down there because it just helps level it out and bring it, bring it back into the centre. Right, that's that pinky been cured now for 60 seconds. That one's finished. So I'm going on to this ring finger. This is just going to be all pink. So again, like I did with the pinky, I'm putting this really, really thin slip layer down and I'm rubbing it right into all them scratches that I did with the file. And I'll cure that for 30 seconds. And again, with this ring finger, I'm going to try and do it. I think I did it in two coats. This first one being quite thin, just covering the whole nail. And then my second layer, I'll go in with a bigger bead and try and create a bit of an apex. Now I'm just going to try and show you a bit of filing what I do. I always get it as thin as I can at the cuticle area. And with the sides, you'll see with my file, I do the sides and keep going up and over to the top. The sides up and over, up and over. Just to get them neat and because a lot of it had like flooded down to the sides and the sides were quite bulky. So yeah, I just file the sides and just keep going up and over, up and over. And once I'm happy with it, I'll give it a quick buff as well, just to smooth out loads of them scratches because I used quite a hard grit file on that. So just a buffer, smooth it all out and then I'll do the rest of them off camera. Right, that's them all done and filed and shaped pulled out a bit of bling that I'm going to be putting on them. On the pointer finger, I'm going to sugar it in this Barbie pink iridescent from Charlie's Nail Art. It's just a fine iridescent. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to wipe these nails over with a bit of acetone because I was scared that some of them scratches were still going to show through. Um, so yeah, just rubbing it with a bit of acetone just gets rid of some of them harsh scratches that I've done with the nail file. Right, I'm going to top coat all of these nails now. The pointer finger, I'm going to pour the glitter into the wet top coat and cure it into that wet top coat. And then I'm going to get some bling on and that'll be the set finished.
Okay guys, that's them all done. I was so proud of how these turned out. It's the first time I've ever used Builder in a Bottle. And I promise you, if you've never used it before, I found it so much easier than I thought it was going to be. It was so easy. It really was. You do have to be a bit quicker than you would with, like, build, uh, poly gel and stuff, obviously. But, yeah, I found it quite easy. And I'm definitely going to be doing some more. I do need to work on my shaping. Um, but... Yeah, I can learn as I go, corner. I'm really happy with them. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Remember to hit the notification bell as well so you never miss an upload. And hopefully, I'll see you all in my next one. Take care. Bye.